Welcome to Right Price Videos. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to manage what units you currently sell and apply the pricing for those units using the Right Price Export to Excel function. To begin, we'll start at the Pricing tab at the top and select Excel Export and Import. On the left hand side here, you have Export to Excel File. You have two options here. You can choose Selected which will only export the data that you have selected under system setup or you can export all of your manufacturers all of your system types in all of your units whether or not they're checked under system setup in this example I'm going to choose my selected options and select export this will only take a few minutes to generate it just finished exporting my data at the bottom left hand side is my Excel file I'll go ahead and open it you may get a message at the very top that says enable editing. You have to select this button to continue, otherwise you can't modify the data that's in Excel. At the bottom left hand side is the introduction page. This page is empty. I'll start with the AC condenser and I'll look at my selected units. For this example I've chosen sample as my manufacturer. And I have all of my models that begin with an ACS0 because back in right price I've selected that as my family prefix. The third column is my material cost. This is where I can electronically paste from another electronic format that already has my pricing. This is a much faster process than doing it through the web interface. The fourth column here is include. False means you don't sell it. True means you do sell it. In this Excel file are built-in auto filters. If you left click on this drop down arrow, I can filter smallest to largest, largest to smallest, or I can even come down here and show the ones that are already selected as true. I'll uncheck select all, I'll choose true and select OK. This is now showing the only AC condenser that I'm selecting in right price. I can choose more model numbers and change them to true in this Excel file. I'll change it back to select all and I'll choose OK. You can also change the order from any one of these column titles. You can change the order by manufacturer, you can change the order in model number and you can also change the material cost in order by dollar amount. The remaining type tabs at the bottom of the screen are all repetitive. Package AC, AC condenser, package air source heat pump, furnace, boiler, ground source heat pump, water source heat pump, and coils and air handlers. Let's recap before we move on to accessories. For all of your systems and model numbers that are flagged as true will appear in right price and in right mobile consultant. And when you apply the material cost, that price will automatically carry over to right price and to right mobile consultant as well. Let's continue on to accessories. The accessories tab in this example is empty because for my sample manufacturer I did not have any pre-populated accessories. However, when you are using one of our custom brands of Wright Mobile Consultant, some of those manufacturers do have pre-populated accessories. And if they do, they will carry over to the Excel spreadsheet. If they don't, you won't see anything in this accessories. However, you can add in your own accessories through Excel. To begin adding accessories through Excel, start in the Custom Part Source tab at the bottom. This is where you can start adding your manufacturers or distributors. In the first column here is the source ID. I created a fictitious source called SPPVC, gave it the same name, and flagged it as D for distributor. Under the type column, you have the option of adding M for manufacturer, D for distributor, or MD for manufacturer and distributor. In the remaining columns is to enter in the contact for that distributor or manufacturer. The next tab that we're going to visit is the custom part category. If you don't see the name of the tab, use your arrows at the bottom left hand side to move from left to right. I'll move to the right so I can see custom part category. Select it. Under the custom part category sheet, you're going to enter in your source ID. You're going to create a category ID and give that category ID a description. I kept it the same. Once you have finished adding all of your category IDs, select the custom part item tab at the bottom right. It is in this screen where you're going to apply your source ID, your category ID, 
your part number, the description of that part number, your package count, and the material cost for that item. If you want to speed up this process, everybody, you can copy and paste your source and your category ID from the custom part category ID. By doing this, you're preventing less typos. So in this example, I'll highlight my source ID and my category ID, hit Control C, come back to the custom part item, right click in my next available cell, and select Paste. See how it copied it over? I didn't have to retype it. I'm going to delete these two cells. You can also copy a cell by bringing your cursor at the bottom right hand side of that cell, left click and dragging down. This allows you to copy. So if I needed to add four or five more parts for ventilation PVC, I don't have to retype it in. I'm going to delete these now because I'm not going to add any more than I already have. Once you are done applying all of the pricing to all of your systems, flagging whether or not you sell them or don't sell them by selecting true or false, and adding in all of your accessories, you are ready to save this file. Go to the top left hand side, select File, Save As, save it anywhere on your computer, give it a name, and then select Save. To learn how to import your Excel file into Right Price, please visit our video on how to import your pricing from Excel. This concludes our video. For all of your technical inquiries, please contact our support department at 781-862-8719, extension 2. To purchase or renew your Wright Mobile Consultant license, please contact our sales department at 1-800-225-8697, extension 3. You can also visit us on the web at www.rightsoft.com. Thank you for watching.